How's it going, everybody? Puzzle Mobile here, bringing you another absolute banger of a platinum. Today, we've got another one from Ezo called Schmoopity Schmoop. Shout out to them for getting me a code for the game. And you're looking at two and a half bucks with all eight stacks. You may remember Ezo's previous release that I covered on this channel, Schmoop. And this is essentially a follow up to that with a ton of extra stuff added in. There's two different game modes to choose from. The normal mode, which has three separate difficulties, and the original mode, which is just the original Schmoop game, as well as a newly added upgrade menu where you can increase your health, fire rate, and movement speed. Controls-wise, you move with the left stick, rotate with the right stick, fire with R2, and you can fire a missile with L2. Trophy-wise, you've got a number of goals here. Your overarching goals are to play the game 15 times in whichever mode you want, Unlock the final level for each upgrade path, die 5 times, fire 367 bullets, shoot 10 missiles, destroy yourself with a missile, kill 5 enemies with a single missile, and kill 500 total enemies. Each difficulty and mode has its own specific trophies as well. In normal mode on easy, you have to survive for at least 91 seconds and have a score of at least 666. On normal difficulty, those change to 61 seconds for survival and a score of 333. And on hard, it's 31 seconds for survival and a score of 110. We've got the same kind of trophies for original mode as well, where you need to survive for at least 31 seconds and have a score of at least 530. And an added set of trophies for finishing 7 games in original mode. While you're playing in normal mode, you're going to see a few things appearing on the screen. An asteroid will periodically fly in, a planet will fly in, a black hole will spawn, and eventually a large boss ship will fly in, which you'll have to destroy. A number of the trophies associated with these will pop on their own while you play, namely the witness an enemy being swallowed by a black hole, and witness a celestial body crush an enemy ship trophies. There's a few that you'll have to focus on here, though. You have to fire both your shots and a missile at a black hole to unlock two separate trophies. You have to fly in close to a black hole and then escape it for a trophy. And you have to destroy a planet, preferably with a missile. Aside from that, just make sure you get hit by an asteroid or planet for the It's a Trap trophy. Now, one thing I found that you cut down on your time to finish this Platinum is to focus on upgrading your health first, then your movement speed, then your fire rate. You can actually take points out of movement speed, so by the time you hit the final upgrade for it, you can pull all of your upgrades out of it to refund them, then add them into fire rate to finish that upgrade path, and you'll unlock that trophy without having to grind out more points. As far as getting those points goes, I would probably focus on normal mode, on normal difficulty, unless you can play hard well enough. Once you've got enough fire rate upgrades, you can use that and your missiles to clear the screen pretty easily. Going in completely blind, this took me right around 20 minutes to finish. You might be able to cut that down a little bit, but having to grind out the points for the full upgrade paths is going to take some time regardless of how good you are at this kind of game, so I would expect you to take somewhere in the 15 to 30 minute range for this. This does have auto pop by the way, so if you get both stacks for a region, you can finish it on PS4 and auto pop the PS5 Platinum as well. All right, that'll do it for me, though, everybody. Super simple, easy, cheap, fast platinum today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below which number platinum this was for you, and subscribe to the channel for more trophy hunting content. This was number 1012 for me.